So raise your hand if you made any health and fitness resolutions for 2020. Yes, I did too. So I have lost 12 pounds. Hello everyone. Oh crap, can't get my shit together. Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a little update on my 2020 fitness goals slash accountability slash how did I do in a month slash what's in my gym bag. So if you wanna check out all of the above, then just keep on watching. Thank you all so much for clicking on this video. I just want to say that really quickly. I, I know you could be watching anyone's video right now, but you're watching mine and that is rad and I really, really appreciate it. So thank you. In case you're new and you missed the first installment in this series, I'm gonna link that video right up here so that you can go check that out first and you can come to this one because then it will all make a lot more sense. But yeah, basically I am really trying to get on my ish this year and get in shape. Before we get into this video, I'm just gonna ask, you might wanna subscribe because you know you already are super into this. Like, you wanna know, do I achieve my fitness goals in 2020? Are you on a fitness journey? There's nothing like being accountable together. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you're interested in fashion, lifestyle, beauty, travel, it's all right here on this channel. And the thing that I wanna say is please do not come for my nails. I know they look terrible. I know I'm missing one nail on each hand, but you know what? I've got a new set of press on nails that are coming tomorrow from Amazon. So it is what it is. My hands look janky. Do not drag me for that. I know they look bad. This video is gonna be like a little combination video because I kind of wanna make these fitness videos not just like me talking about myself because that might not be the most interesting thing for you all. So try to make each one of these to be kind of on the interesting side. So for this one, I wanna share with you guys what is in my gym bag. So like some awesome things that I always take with me to the gym. So hopefully maybe you can get a little bit of inspiration for some little gadgets and torture devices that you might want to put in your gym bag to ramp up your workouts or whatever, what have you. Some of these items are also not in my gym bag, but I'm just gonna include like products that I love in this video because it just makes sense. In the second part of this video, I am going to talk about my fitness goals. I'm gonna show you my body last January and we're gonna compare it to what I look like now. I'm gonna do my measurements, I'm gonna see my progress throughout the month and talk a little bit about things that I think I did right, things that I definitely did wrong and areas where I know I need to keep pushing and improving on. So if you want to stay to the end and hear all about that, then um, that is basically the layout of this video as it were. So here is my lovely gym bag. I bought it from Macy's a couple years ago. It's just a silver metallic gym bag and it's heavy because it is full of stuff. So let's just open it up, okay? The first thing in my gym bag that should be in anyone's gym bag is a water bottle. I love these reusable water bottles from Simple Modern, I think is the name. Yeah, Simple Modern. This is a um, brand that you can buy on Amazon. Hydroflasks. Is that how those girls do it? Visco girls. Anyway, hydro flasks, way too expensive. I'm not about spending that amount of money on a freaking water bottle when you can buy from a different brand that's just as good, keeps your stuff just as cold for just as long. So I found this one and I really love the wide mouth uh, water bottles because I don't really like the skinny ones because I like to be able to put ice in them. Look, it's kind of iridescent and cool looking. They have a white sort of version of this iridescent as well as tons of other colors. It came with a different top that was like this one that has this rubber ring that you could put around the bottom in case you want your top to always be attached to your water bottle. So I love that it comes with those two different options, but I personally have been enjoying this one more because when I'm like hiking or whatever, or carrying it around, I can just hold it like this and it's just so much easier than that type of top. So I will have all the products linked below so you guys can check them out. And it, like, can you hear that ice? I filled this water bottle up with water and ice at like 9.20 this morning and it is now almost five o'clock. So it keeps your stuff cold and I love that. I like to have ice cold water all day long. The next item in my gym bag is something that doesn't smell very good and that's because it gets real sweaty. It is the Sweet Sweat Waist Trainer Trimmer Pro Series. I have been using some version of this type of thing for a long time now on my waist when I work out. Basically what it is is you put it on and the material inside is this sort of like neoprene scuba type fabric I want to say it makes you just sweat like crazy nobody wants to have a small waist so this is supposed to help with that can I tell you definitively if it actually works I don't know I don't know sis because here's the thing my body type I'm lucky 
I have like a body type where I gain everything in my butt and my legs and my chest, my boobs first. So I don't tend to have like a belly ever. So grateful for that. Thank you, Jesus. So I can't really tell you if this really is super effective, but I do it anyway because I figure like it can't hurt to wear it and sweat more. In conjunction with that, it's not in my gym bag that I keep it in my bathroom because if this was outside in the car, it would melt and get disgusting. But this is the Sweet Sweat Workout Enhancer, which came with this workout band and it's in the coconut scent. And it just smells so good. But basically the idea of this is you're supposed to put it on the areas of your body, like your stomach, your booty, your legs, your arms, places where you want to have those areas sweat more and like burn fat. And this is supposed to help. So it says before exercise, apply an ample amount of sweet sweat topical gel to the skin, coating all desired areas without rubbing in. Um, it's activated by your elevated heart rate and increased body temperature. And it works best during cardio circuit and high intensity interval training. This is another thing that I kind of think is a gimmick. I really don't believe that it actually does all these things. I could be wrong, and if you use this and you've really seen results, I would love for you to comment below and tell me because I don't use this every single day because I kind of feel like it's not legit. But if you do and you like it, please comment and that way I'll use it more and maybe I will see a difference. The next thing in my gym bag are my Beats wireless Bluetooth headphones. I love these. I cannot work out without music. I always have to have my headphones and I love that these are wireless because I used to work out with like, you know, old school headphones and the wire would get all in the way. Oh God, technology is so great, right? So I love having these and they're super cute and stylish and comfortable. They cancel out noise. I don't know what else to say about these, but they're great headphones. So if you're looking for a good pair of Bluetooth headphones, the Beats ones are great. I've had these for about two years now and they're still going strong. The next thing in my workout bag are my bands. These guys I love to also take with me when I travel and they're these little resistance bands. I'm sure you must have seen somebody on Instagram or YouTube uh, using these, but they're fantastic. You can put them around your legs to add like more resistance when you're doing squats or different uh, leg exercises um, or doing like floor work, like, you know, leg lifts and different things like that. These are so good. And if you're traveling, they're so easy to stick in your suitcase. And there's tons of like YouTube videos and uh, videos on Instagram that you can watch where people do workouts just with these. So it's a great way to keep your fitness going while you're traveling. But I do always bring these with me to the gym to make certain exercises even harder. And I also have another set here in my office and I often use them while I'm sitting at my desk. I just put around my legs and I do like hip abductions because I'm really trying to tone like the outsides of my butt and my legs. And they're not expensive. They're a great little thing to add on to your workout make it harder. The next thing is a jump rope. Doesn't get much more old school than a jump rope workout, right? I use this often when I'm doing like my own workouts. If I didn't go to a, a group class or something to warm up and obviously it's self-explanatory. It's a jump rope. It's a great way to get your blood moving. It's awesome cardio. What else can I say? It's a jump rope. You get it. The next thing I have in here are these little sliders. They definitely look like little plastic plates and they basically are, but what I like to use these for is different exercises. When you're on a hardwood floor, you can put these underneath your feet and be in like a plank and do all sorts of like mountain climbers or do like in and out with your legs. Also great for your core. You could be like in a plank position and have these underneath your hands and slide them out. Fabulous core workout. Or just another great little tool to change up your workouts and do something a little bit different. I always have to have these when I go do any sort of strength uh, or circuit workout, anything that involves lifting weights or doing like burpees, having my hands on the ground, push-ups literally anything because these kind of protect your hands and especially if you're like jumping up and down doing burpees and like sometimes I get really sweaty this might be too much TMI but like doing burpees or push-ups when your hands are super sweaty like my I just like slide out and it's like not fun and then I just don't do the workout because I'm like afraid I'm gonna hit my face these are great because you know the other side of your hand is rubberized so it gives you some grip so you're not gonna slip and slide everywhere and it also helps protect your hands when you're lifting weights because nobody wants to have like calluses from weightlifting, do we? No. So still on the topic of hands, but a little bit different. And these are disgusting. I need to wash them. Um, but I have also these weighted gloves, which I use for when I go do like my kickboxing workouts. I think each weight is like two pounds or something. And that doesn't sound like very much, but when you're doing a like 50 minute, like punching kickboxing workout, these like have really kicked my butt. Like since I've started using them because you know, your, your body starts to get used to what you do. So 
I do this workout a lot and when I added these on, oh man, I feel like it really has helped to tone my arms up more. Those kickboxing workouts are super like cardio centric and so I feel like when I add these on to my hands, I'm also like toning my arms at the same time because like this, having these on during that workout wears me the F out. On that note, I also have these little ankle weights for when I do certain group classes that are like cardio based because if you add extra weight to yourself, it just makes the workout harder and I'm all about just like making myself like I'm about to pass out when I work out. You can like buckle around your ankles. You can also put them around your wrists if you wanted to. I think that's everything that I have that's in my bag. But I want to talk really quick about something that's not in my bag but related. Follow me on Instagram, which you totally should. Uh, then you've heard me talking about this scale constantly this month and I want to thank Davida Marie. She's the one that commented and told me to maybe look into one of these, but this is a smart scale. I'm sorry, it's a little bit dirty. It measures not only your weight, but like your muscle mass, your body fat, like all that good stuff. And it Bluetooth syncs to your phone so that you can track all of this. So we're going to get more into this in a second when I show you all my progress because I've been using this for about a month and so you'll get to see what the app looks like. But I got it on Amazon. I think it's $25 and it's so worth it. It's really interesting to see how you can progress through all these different other metrics not just your weight because your weight is like only one component of your overall health and this helps you track so so much more that being said let's segue into the second part of this video i started really going for my whole weight loss journey probably i think it was on january 10th and i meant to film this video on february 10th like so i had like one month so i could show my one month of progress but i delayed it by a couple days because i bought this scale and i first stepped on this scale on january 18th and i really liked the information that this app gave me about my progress. So I wanted to actually have one month of progress to show you all on this app so that you can see. So I'm gonna put a screen share of when I stepped on the scale today right here. So today I weigh 143 pounds and I believe six six ounces or whatever that smaller denomination is. That is awesome. If you guys saw the first video, I started at 155, which is the heaviest I've ever been. And so that's what really spurred me to make this sort of <clears throat> goal for myself to get back into shape because girl, no, we gotta rein that in. I have lost 12 pounds which is awesome, in one month. I'm gonna show you all the different things that this scale measures really quick so that you can see it. This is what I weigh this month, and you can see that it weighs, it shows your weight, and every time you hit something, it will show you like the overall scale of what is underweight to obese and where you fall on that spectrum. So. In all of these things, it will show you that. So I'm in a normal weight range. I was very near to overweight before this. So then you can also look at your BMI. I'm in a normal range for that. Your body fat, I'm an athlete. Show you your fat-free body weight, which is really cool. A sub cutaneous fat, which apparently is the ratio of fat stored in your skin to your body weight. That's too medical for me. I don't know what that means. Visceral fat, which is the type of body fat that's found in the human organs, which mainly resides like in your abdominal area. Very low on that. Body water, your skeletal muscle, your muscle mass, which is high. Bone mass, your protein, your BMR, your metabolic age. If you go into trends, it will show you for each thing like a graph. So like it'll show over time, I started at 155 and I came down, I sort of bounced around a little bit. I got the lightest I had been, then I kind of went back up. And then I here I am now. It will show you your like all of these different measurements where you where you fall. I'm obsessed with the scale. So now that we've looked at all that, I'm gonna do my little twirl around in the camera for you so we can compare last month and this month. I'm gonna do my measurements and then we'll wrap this up. I have lost 12 pounds and I went down about an inch overall in all of my different areas, which I would say is a win for one month. I still have a little ways to go. I would like to be somewhere around 130, 135. I still have about 10 or so pounds to go. I think we're on the right track. Some takeaways that I have from this month of being keto-ish. Tracking my calories is not realistic for me, so I just maybe I need to get better about doing it. I just, it's really hard for me to do that, and I find when I was doing it consistently, I was being 
like more I was progressing more so I guess I need to try to do that I have not completely given up drinking this month and I have had wine on a couple occasions but I did notice my tolerance is so low and my hangovers are real bad so I'm kind of a cheap date now which is probably good to really miss wine though I will let myself have it on nice occasions I'm basically keeping pretty good to my diet I've cheated here and there so I think if I would have been like absolutely more strict I probably would have made more progress but I also am trying to be realistic for my life and I know that when I restrict myself like super crazy I tend to rebel against it and then just like fall off the wagon so I'm trying to like give myself a little bit of wiggle room because I know myself always remember though the key is that this is a slow process and before this year I would think like all I had to do was do something for two weeks or maybe a month and then I'd be I'd be good and that's just not how it works especially when you're starting to get older so just to keep in mind like it's a slow and steady race and you just have to keep at it you get there and if you fall off the wagon one day don't just ditch everything tomorrow is a new day to start again and you can do it I think overall my progress has been good and I'm just gonna keep it up and try to keep going so I will follow up with you guys in another couple of weeks to see how we're doing and with like a different sort of thing maybe I'll do like you know cute outfit ideas for the gym or like apps that I love to use to help keep me in shape comment down below let me know like what you guys might want to see next time also let me know have you guys made some good progress on your goals I would love to hear that so comment below and let me know what you guys have achieved this month as far as your fitness goals go for 2020 I'm gonna wrap this video up up. Thank you so much if you stayed this long. I really appreciate you and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye!